Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we'll look at Annie's song by John Denver. So this one is a finger style song that's got uh, actually a couple guitars going at the same time and he's also playing a 12 string guitar. So um, you're gonna, we're kinda, kinda play what he would do live, but he also plays on a 12 string. And, you, and when you see him play live, he's playing down here in the intro. But you're actually hearing this that what I played in the beginning. Um, so he has another guitar player on stage that's so obviously doubling that. So he also uses a slightly different tuning. I'm using standard tuning for this. He uses a tuning that enables him to kind of, uh, what makes it a little bit easier for him to play. Uh, when I'm going through it, I don't necessarily see that it makes it much easier to play. So we're just gonna keep it in standard tuning. It's really just the six string. I think he just takes it down to drop D, but we're just gonna keep it in standard. All right, so now we basically have this intro to learn, and then we have one long chord progression with the same picking pattern again and again on it. All right, so let's take a look at this intro first. Once again, we're in standard tuning here, and it sounds like this. All right, so what's going on there? We just have two chords. So open D string, 7th fret on the G, 7th fret on the B, and 5th fret on the high E. So that's a D major chord. You're going to take it to a D sus4 by just moving that 7th fret on the B string up to the 8th fret on the 2nd chord. Now the picking pattern. Now we're going to be doing this throughout the song. Now how I'm picking this, now he uses like a thumb pick. I'm not sure if he uses th finger picks on top of that, but uh, um, there's a couple of different ways of doing this and I'll just, I'll show you both ways and you can pick it the way that you feel most comfortable. It's the same pattern, it's just using different fingers. So let's start here. We're gonna start with the thumb on the D string. Then the index finger is gonna get the G string. Then the high E string with your middle finger and then the B string with your index. Then you're gonna go back to the high E string with your middle finger, and then back to the G string with your index. So basically the index finger will jump from the G to the B to the G, and the thumb got the open D string, and the high E string was always played with your middle finger. So it's just a six note pattern, it looks like this. All right, one more time. From there, we just move up that one finger up to the eighth fret on the B string. It's the same exact picking pattern. And then just go between those two chords, playing that pattern once on each three times. So after that full three times, you start it again the same way. the very last note is an open G string. That gives you time to come down here and start playing uh, that big long progression that I played earlier, which is basically the whole verse and chorus. It's really just, it's not really a chorus of song. The whole thing is just one long melody. It's, it's a beautiful song. All right, so let me just play for the first few chords here. You'll notice that the piggy pattern is gonna stay the same. Um, the top three strings are always gonna be The thumb is just gonna jump around. Its note is always gonna be the first note in the measure, and it's gonna either play on the fourth string, fifth, or sixth. And obviously we're changing chords pretty quickly, so it's, it's kind of not the easiest song in the world to play. So the first few chords will look like this. All right, so that jumps around pretty quick. All right, so let's start here with this a G chord. Now you can grab this G, which is the third fret on the low E and third fret on the high E. And then the rest of that thumb is gonna grab the sixth fret, I mean the sixth string there. And then it's that same picking pattern we did earlier. All right, so we have that. Now we're gonna to go to an A major chord. So the pattern is the exact same, except now the thumb is gonna play the open A string. Now a lot of times when he's changing chords, that last note is always on the G string, and you're gonna hear that as an open string a lot because he 
gets off the chord just a little early to grab the next chord form. So you might hear it from this A. He uses that as an opportunity to shift to the next chord, which is uh, kind of the most difficult change in the song, which is switching to a B minor real quick. So this B minor, if you don't know what that is, a full bar at the second fret, then play the third fret on the uh, B string, fourth on the G, and fourth on the D. And the same pattern as the previous chord, just kind of the thumb's gonna start on the fifth string, and everything else is uh, the same as before. And then we're back to the G that we started with. So, so far we have this. All right, and now we're gonna start this descending chord sequence. Let me show the chords real quick. It's a D major chord. Then it's an F sharp minor chord with a C sharp in the bass. So all you really need to play that is just a bar across the top three strings at the second fret, and then your third finger there at the fourth fret on the A string. Then that B minor again and then the A. So we have this. All right, now the picking there, it's same pattern. Just you're always gonna play the bass note to that thumb. So in this case, it's the D string. Um, so it's the fourth string and then the same pattern. So we have this. And then here. Now the next chords uh, are a G, F sharp minor, E minor, and back to the G. All right, so that's just that same G we did before. F sharp minor. I'm playing that instead of jumping to a bar. Just grab your thumb, the low E string there, the second fret, and then just do the bar on the top three strings. You can do the full bar if you want but it's really not necessary. And then the E minor, you actually don't need any fingers at all. And then back to that G. So we have this. All right, next four chords is just all an A. So it's an A major chord, but he plays this A major, the pattern four times on it, but the third time he switches it up to an A sus4 chord. So it's just from the second fret on the B, move it up to the third fret. And then the fourth time of playing the pattern, go back down. So that A sus4 was just the third time of playing the pattern on this chord. So it looks like this. All right, so let me play through what we've had so far, starting when the vocals come in. Now from there, we pretty much, we start the same section over again. Just gonna have a slightly different ending. So we go back to that G, A, B minor, G, D, F sharp minor with a C sharp in the bass, B minor, A major. Right here is where it changes. We have the G, same as before, F sharp minor as before, E minor as before. From here, we instead of going to that G like we did before, we go to the A major, and then to the D major. Now, just like we did on the D, we're gonna do a little, on the, on the A major earlier, 
gonna rotate between a D major and a D sus4, which is just adding the pinky there at the third fret on the high E string. So it looks like this as you play through the chord. We have basically another version of this. So for that ending, uh, when it it's basically the turnaround where you just play that chord and it goes back to the exact same thing we just played through the whole sequence again. Um, so it's, that just holds that D chord that gets you back there and you can play it up here or you can play it there as well. So I think he plays it there live. But I'm sure this I might be layering that in there. Now let me show you, I talked about at the beginning that that's probably the way you should finger pick it, but there's another way you can. Um, we've basically gone through both progressions, the intro and then the whole long chord progression um, that he just repeats a few times throughout the song. Now how, uh, another way of picking that, the same uh, same notes, let's just start it here, let's just learn it here on the, uh, on the G. You can do it like this, if you don't, if you're not very good with your middle finger, you can just have your thumb jump around a lot. So it's the thumb, how you would do it is this. Thumb on the low E, then thumb on the G, and then, so basically the thumb's gonna get every note that's not the high E string. It's basically what it would be. requires you to have be able to move your thumb around pretty quick and pretty accurately um, and then just the high E string can just be your index fingers same thing for the intro all right so that's a way you might want to practice it anyway it's a good thumb exercise but it's also a way that some people will probably be able to play it faster because they might not have control of uh, the other fingers because those you know the middle and the ring finger are harder fingers to control for most people. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a, it's a gorgeous song, and if you get it up to tempo, um, it's really great. And if you can sing over this as well and sing like John Denver does, which I don't think anybody can, um, that would be um, pretty incredible. I'd like to see that. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.